だけどね。Hello guys, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this really smart ice text using Photoshop CS5, or probably works for CS4. So, I found this um, type of texture on um, a blog, and halfway through, I I sort of created this type of texture, the civilly with the lines, and I thought that looks really nice, and I thought, well, that sort of looks sort of like ice. So let's, let's apply this to some text. So I, I messed around, and this is what I created, and I thought it was, you know, really nice. So I decided to do a tutorial on it. So I'm going to go through that today. So it's it's pretty easy to do, but you're sort of going to have to follow with me, and you know, you, you'll get it. It's it's not that hard. So file new. Um, we're going to do 720 by 540, and hit OK. Now um, hit Control and Backspace to color the background. I'm just going to delete the lock layer. And then I'm going to create a new layer for my text. So I'm going to come over here and get the text tool. And the font is Pump Denny Bold. And then I think it's Bold, sorry, L E T. And it is installed already. You won't have to download that. And the font size is 999.89 pixels. So um, I wrote Ice Text because I couldn't fit um, the company name in there. So, but you know, um, so I'll just write that again. So. Click down. It's a nice font. Looks really good. I was just going through and I found this. I needed some bold and I thought it looked nice. But it should be installed already. Um, so you can center it up wherever you want. Um, so it looks like this. So first off, we're gonna go and liquefy this to get the. So it looks like it's melting. So filter, um, liquefy, and then I'll ask you to whatever some in the layer. Just click OK. And you know, it's, there's nothing bad about that. So, you want to make sure that your brush size is 78, density 50, and brush pressure 75. The brush size is up to you, size is up to you, um, depending on the size of your text or whatever. But that's the size I'm using for this text, and I think it goes well. So, it's about this big. So, I'm going to click and I'm going to push in. So, it's all and create like we, you know, just sort of. Just push in on the side of text, so you spend your time making it look decent. I'm just sort of just gonna do it quickly just to show you. So just gonna sort of push in, um, and um, just sort of get this sort of. It looks like a melting effect. It's pretty smart. Right, uh, push in here. Uh, so say that's me. I you know spent a bit of time on that. Yeah. So spend time here. Click OK. So now we have this little sort of liquefied. Um, melting text, so it looks pretty smart. So now we're gonna have to sort of lock this layer. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, it is a type of lock, lock transparent pixels. It's called. I'm gonna click that, and this is just I don't know what it just helps. Okay, um, it it lets you edit the text in different ways. So just and it makes it a different type of layer. Um, and then so it just works with this so now we want to go to filter render and then clouds to get the clouds inside of this um, because it gives it this glow when we add it this when they add the ingredient overlay so we're gonna get that now we're gonna go and add a, a stroke to the end of this and go over here and do it I'm just gonna go edit stroke making it two pixels and in the inside it's gonna be white so now I have this pretty bold sort of look inside here as you can see on this one you can't see it but what it does is when you give it everything um, it it makes the liquid look a lot better so that's the reason why we're adding it so now I'm gonna blur this um, so I'm gonna filter blur uh, Gaussian blur and I'm gonna set this to 7 pixels and it just gives as you can see the strokes gone now and it gives you more of this um, type of look see um, just makes it look a lot nicer so I'm gonna click OK it sort of um, brightens it up a little bit, I reckon. So now we're going to add that sort of. The, it's, it's called the plastic wrap, and it was that um, type of. Looks where the melting's coming from in here. See, this type of thing. So I'm going to go to filter, um, artistic, and then plastic wrap. So now we have this one here. It's just the one that it comes on, plastic wrap, and I'm going to add. Everything the same, 15, 1, 15, leave it as that. Click OK. So now I have this sort of, it looks like veins really, yep. Um, 
now we're gonna wanna add the chrome and it just gives off a little bit nicer so what's this now so it's filter sketch and then chrome and now as you can see this is where the ice type of effect comes in as you can see a really nice effect um, leaving it on chrome leaving it naught and 10 so detail naught smoothness 10 okay so now we have that, that looks nice as you can see exactly on the other one alright this is where the gradient overlay is going to come in and I'm going to go down to the effects and gradient overlay and then I'm going to make sure my opacity is at 100% and now this as you can see we've just lost all the stuff we've just done but if you go to blend mode and you set this to overlay as you can see it comes back and now we're going to edit this so I'm going to go and click on the gradient I'm going to choose the black to grey uh, white sorry and I'm going to double click on the bottom one here I'm going to type this into here so these are the ones I found before um, but, uh, I did write them down somewhere All right, okay. 0, 0, 5 2 um, eight six so the if you don't get this these will be in the description so if you can't understand or anything just go in the description so now I'm gonna make one about here and I'm gonna double click and I'm gonna add um, a seven d o oh, why is it not right anything hmm a seven d o naught sorry FF. That's the reason why. Alright, so A six D naught FF. And copy these from the description. So right in the middle now, I'm gonna double click again and I'm going to choose A seven E F F F. So all Fs right to the end. Now I'm gonna click OK. One right here, there's two more left. This one here, double click, and this one's gonna be naught naught eight. Um, 6 B F and the last one is going to be left as white so now we have this um, lovely text here now lovely ice text as you can see looks the exact same so they liquefied this obviously quite a bit more than that one so make sure when you liquefy it try not to make it too messed up like on the I and what I've done to the E um, but I know what we can do actually I'm going to duplicate this layer um, right click and duplicate layer and OK and I'm going to drag this down and I'm going to I'm going to have a transform rotate 180 degrees so it's upside down oh no wait that's wrong um, edit transform oh no flip vertical and now I'm going to get the gradient tool this little gradient tool over here where's it gone um, if you hit um, if it's on the paint bucket, just cl click and get the um, gradient tool. And I'm going to make this black to white. So the black going up to the white. Oh, wrong way around. Oh, whatever, this is mucking up. Yeah, it won't let me do it that way for some reason. I know, but um, I know another way. So I'm just going to add a, a drop to this. So if I just delete all these off here. Maybe this is a black. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> but you can you can add a. Oh, it really isn't working. But you know, maybe add an. Um, oh, I know. Sorry. Right. Oh, no, back into. Just get rid of this. If I can make this a lot bigger. And then you might want to get the brush. Um, what is this? The rubber tool. And you can rub it out, and you can create this um, drop shadow. Um, pretty easy really, just want to make sure that the bits at the top go away oh, sorry I just this wasn't planned I haven't tried this so um, probably looks a bit crap but no it doesn't actually it looks really nice so I'm just going to drag this below the other layer and now we have our ice text with a bit of the drop shadow at the bottom so what I did then is I got the um, rubber tool I uh, up the size to 66 and made my harness 100 and just rubbed it out went over it a, bit, a couple of times and now I've got this lovely effect with the really bright glowing ice text at the top so thanks for watching this guys I hope you enjoyed it, see ya